The Downtown Investment Authority will meet again today to discuss the future of the Lower Street Trio. It is a group of historic buildings that a developer wanted to turn into a hotel, restaurant, and apartments. News Project reporter Ashley Harding is live, and Ashley, as it stands, the board is expected to reject the most recent plan. It certainly is, you guys, and the biggest issue really has been funding of this project, and the board says it offered three financing solutions, which the developer apparently did not accept. So, of course, you do see these iconic buildings right here at the corner of Laura and Forsyth Streets. Now, everyone involved says they want to save these historic buildings, but if the city and the developer cannot find a compromise, well, there is a chance they could be torn down. The future of the Laura Street Trio project is up in the air, but today the Downtown Investment Authority will take the time to discuss it. Even though the DIA is rejecting the latest plans, it says it is willing to talk about financing structures with the developer in the future. What it doesn't want is a deal with no conditions. Much of the back and forth is because the only option the developer is interested in includes paying for the hotel portion with a loan worth $22 million. The city would have to back up that loan. So at this point, we're looking at our options, but it is absolutely our intention to make sure that those buildings are restored. We spoke with Mayor Donna Deegan about the project last week. She says getting it off the ground is important. I think that unfortunately in this situation, um, we, we gave Mr. Atkins three what we thought were very good options through DIA. Unfortunately, he basically came back with something that once again, the general counsel said this is more of the same and it's not constitutional. So we cannot in any responsible way move forward with something that we feel is unconstitutional. The reason that we wanted to be very intentional about presenting those additional options to Mr. Atkins was to say, look, this is our, our final best effort uh, to get this in a place where we can get it done. And from here, if we cannot get it done, we're gonna move quickly to whatever our next options are because time is really crucial when it comes to those buildings. So while I cannot give you an exact timeline, I can tell you we are going to move as quickly as we possibly can.